Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus loves you a lot. That is why not only does he speak through the scriptures, he also shows you the beautiful places of the world. Isn't there a city called Tokyo in the country of Japan? I am speaking to you from a place which is there. And why? Because you should always be happy. You should meditate on the Lord's word happily. We are making such an effort so that there is an appropriate circumstance for it. Okay, on this day, if you ask what word does the Lord have for me, in Psalm chapter 104 and verse 34, May my meditation be sweet to him. I will be glad in the Lord. May my meditation be sweet to him. I will be glad in the Lord. We should be happy. That is the Lord's desire. My children should be happy. If there are children in your home, will the father and mother be happy? If the children are sad, why is my child like this? Such a sorrow will be there. And similarly, if you are sorrowful, it's the same with the Lord. Why is my son or why is my daughter like this? What is the sorrow? He will say, you should be happy, my son, my daughter. What should you do if you have to be happy? The meditation of the Lord will be sweet. Do you know which is a sweet time? The time when you meditate on the Lord God. A man of God says, I will rise early in the morning to meditate on the Lord God. So you should never miss this early morning time. You have a cell phone. All of you have phones, isn't it? As soon as you wake up in the morning, even after you finish praying, when you search for your phone, you will see if you have a message from who loves you or whom you love. You live abroad, you will look for a message from your wife, husband or children. You will see if a person who loves you has sent you a message and once you see it, you will surely become very happy. Throughout that day, yes, those who love me have sent me a message. A great joy and happiness will come, isn't it? If they don't send a message, you will think, why didn't they send a message? Why didn't the message come? They will speak with me every morning. What happened at home? What happened to my wife? What happened to my husband? Won't you feel nervous? That too, if you don't receive a message from someone you love a lot, it may be a friend or companion, there will be a nervousness within you thinking, why didn't we receive a message? At the same time, if they send a message in the morning, your heart will become very happy. Similarly, Jesus Christ is a lover of our soul. He is the lover of our soul. He is the one to be loved until we rise in the morning and hear the message from Him. Sweetness will not come into your heart. If you hear His message, so much joy will come into your heart. That happiness will be there the whole day. This is an experience. It is written meditating on Him in the morning will be sweet. Many people think that praying in the morning is very difficult. If you correctly understand what prayer is, prayer is a sweet experience. Meditating on Him will be sweet. He is sweet Jesus. His presence will be very sweet. What I will do when I wake up in the morning is I will sit at His feet and meditate on Him. I will meditate on the nature of His love. I will meditate on the sacrifices He has made for me the suffering he endured on the cross of Calvary. I will meditate on his power. I will meditate on his works. Do you know what will happen as I meditate on them? Tears will flow from my eyes without my knowledge. How sweet is my Jesus. How awesome is my Jesus. Without your knowledge, you will begin to shed tears. That is his presence. That is the true meditation, a joy that comes when you meditate on the Lord God. It will be a sweet time. Your heart will always be happy if you meditate on Him in the morning and rejoice in His presence throughout the day. Joy will overflow within you. Happiness will overflow. This is my experience. That is all of our experiences. You try giving some time. You think about it. The days on which you rose early in the morning, sat at the feet of the Lord, meditated on the scriptures, praised and prayed. Think about how that entire day was. Think of the days when you were, without praying or seeking the Lord's presence, woke up late in the morning and went out 
to work, study or roam around in all those days. Frustration, harm, irritation, anger and sin will surround you. But try being in God's presence and starting the day with gladness. That is why I say pray early in the morning. Form this habit. Are you thinking that it is difficult? No, for some people, when they wake up in the morning, they cannot work without having coffee. Have you seen it? Some won't drink coffee. That's okay. It's a good habit. For some, only if they drink coffee, they can work. As soon as they wake up in the morning, wherever they may go, whichever country they might go to, they will search where they can get coffee, buy and drink it. If they have the habit, doesn't it come automatically? For some, if they don't read the newspaper in the morning, that's all. See the elders in your house, they will become like they have gone mad. A habit. If you have the habit of meditating on the Lord, in the morning you cannot be without meditating. When will I go into the Lord's presence? When will I wait on Him? When will I speak to Him? When will He speak to me? The desire will come. That is a sweet time. So don't think of a prayer as a difficulty. Sweet hour of prayer. The time of meditating on the Lord. Did you meditate on Him today? If not, go now. Find a place somewhere. Sit alone at the feet of the Lord for 10 to 15 minutes and say, Lord, I am meditating on your love. I am meditating on the suffering you endured on the cross for me. If you think about it for some time, you will feel a change coming into your heart. All burdens and difficulties will be gone. A sweet presence will surround you. Look unto the Lord and say, Lord, I shouldn't leave the sweet morning time. I should rise early in the morning and meditate on you. I want that sweet time. Give me that habit, dear Lord. I should rejoice and meditate in your presence every morning. Give me that experience. I should never lose this. Give me grace. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.